downward facing. Say to Bandhasana, Sapta, inhale, jump through, exhale, lie down. Last pose of the primary series. Congratulations, we're almost done. Bend your knees, feet apart, heels together, arch your back, coming onto the top of your head. Hold the shoulders and press into the hips. Ashto, prepare. Nava, inhale, take it up. Roll through the upper back, rolling all the way through the neck. Lifting up through the upper back and send your hips up and forward. Think about a long, deep bridge. Then dasha, exhale down, flatten your spine, hands under your shoulders, prepare for chakrasana. Ekadisha, inhale, gently roll through the spine all the way over. Walk it back to plank, stabilize from the shoulders. Exhale, lower down. Dwadisha, inhale, upward facing. Trayogdisha, exhale, downward facing. Urdhva Dhanirasana. Sapta, inhale, jump through, back bending. Exhale, lie down. Ashto, prepare, bend your knees. Taking the hands right under the shoulders. Here we go. Nava, inhale, come on onto your head. Taking the hands and then all the way up. Bring your chest out over your hands, moving through a gentle internal rotation of your hip joints. Make space by lifting your ribs away from your hips. Always look for your back bend to feel good. Walk your hands in towards your feet, only if your back bend feels good. Calming the mind, never force the back. Dasha, exhale down. Walk your hands next to your head, then Nava, inhale, come on back up. Send the hips up and forward. Pull the rib cage away from the hips. Use your back muscles to use the space that you create between each of the joints of the spine. Rolling the thighs towards each other, looking down, and slowly moving your hands closer towards your feet. Moving your head down. Dasha, exhale down. Nava, inhale, pick it up. Last one. Slowly move through an internal rotation of the hip joints, rooting down into the bases of your big toes. Walk gently in possibly touching your fingertips towards your heels. Belly sucks as deeply in as you can, then inhale, come on up. We'll move into drop backs. Move your feet parallel, hips width apart, inhale. And exhale, roll through the spine, maximizing the space between the ribs and the hips. And then slowly exhale, bend your knees, drop back. Inhale, slowly, come on back up. Moving through the motion fluidly. Exhale, drop all the way back through each of the joints of the spine. Inhale, shift the hips forward, come on back up. Inhale, create space by lifting the ribs away from the hips. And exhale, gently drop back, bending the knees, lowering down. Inhale, come on right back up. Exhale, drop back. Inhale, come on right back up. Bring your feet together, samasthitihi. A, come inhale, arms up. Dwe, exhale, fold forward. Trini, inhale. Chatwari, exhale, jump back, chaturanga. Pancha, inhale, upward facing. Shat, exhale, downward facing. Pashimatanasana, Sapta, inhale, jump through, straight leg, sit down. Reach your hands, hold the hands, Ashto, inhale. Nava, exhale, fold forward, fold into the inner space of the body. Belly sucks deeply in. Your torso moves forward while the hips shift slightly back. Engage the legs deeply and allow your attention to turn inward. Begin to lengthen and elongate the breath. Whereas every other pose, you've stayed for five breaths. This posture, Pashimatanasana, deep forward fold, stay for ten deep breaths. And keep dropping your attention down into the inner body. Reset the nervous system after back bending. Calm, even, equanimous mind. Spreading the toes, engaging the legs, turning your attention deeply inward. Let every breath be deeper. Dasha, inhale, straight arms. Exhale. Hands to the ground, cross your feet. Ekadisha, inhale, take it up. Dwadisha, jump back. Trayogdisha, inhale, upward facing. Chikturadisha, exhale, downward facing. Sapta, 
inhale, jump all the way forward and through. Exhale, lie down. We prepare for the closing poses. Bring your feet close together. Leave your hands near your hips. First of the closing poses, Sarvangasana. Ashto, inhale, lift right up into shoulder stand. Hands to the lower back, aligning yourself along the center line. Drawing the thighs in towards each other. Stack the hips over the shoulders and stack the legs right over the hips. Feel the center line. Use a deep activation of the pelvic floor to keep a sense of up through the pelvis. Make sure that your neck is a little bit lifted off the ground and you're pressing your shoulders into the ground. Letting this be a true shoulder stand. Suck the belly in. Engage your quadriceps and deepen and elongate your breath. Ashto Halasana. Point your feet, interlocking your fingers, straightening the arms down. Keep the legs straight and think about straightening the spine as you lift the hips up. Belly sucks in. Tune into the inner body, dropping your attention down, calming the mind. Halasana, the plow pose. Karna Pidasana. Bend the knees. Squeezing the knees onto the ears. Rounding the back. You'll notice in this pose the back rounds as the tailbone tucks under. The knees really squeeze towards the ears. Keep the heels and the bases of the big toes together. The arms stay straight behind the back. Fingers interlocked. Keep the breath deep. Hands to the lower back. Inhale, come on back up to shoulder stand. Ashto, take a lotus position. The Nava, inhale, Urdhva Padmasana. Almost like Padmasana, but upside down. Lift your Padmasana by holding your knees from underneath, wrapping your fingers around the knees, straightening the elbows. Let this still be a shoulder stand, so you're still pressing your shoulders into the ground, keeping the hips back and up. Let the belly stay as deeply sucked in as possible. Tuning into the inner body. Nava, exhale, Pindasana. Sucking in the belly, round the back. Remember to make space by drawing in from behind the pubic bone. Aim the shin bones to the eyebrow center to really feel that roundedness through the whole spine. Lengthen and elongate the breath. Hands down. Slowly lower yourself down, keeping your lotus. Use your elbows to come on up. Matsyasana, the fish pose. Hands hold on to your lotus feet, straightening the arms. And then press your Padmasana, your lotus, towards the ground. Don't force the knees, just let it slowly shift forward. Staying here for a total of eight deep breaths. Finding a sense of inner connection. Reaching through the inner body. Calm, steady breathing. Moving into Uttana Padasana. Lift the legs. Lift the hands, pivoting into the hip joints. Make sure that the hands and the feet are in parallel position. Sucking in the belly, pivoting into the hip joints, keeping the spine arched. Avoid the temptation to change the hand position or to change the head position. Then keeping the legs up, flatten the spine. Dasha, inhale, chakrasana. Roll back all the way over through the spine. Then walk it forward to plank. Exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana. Ekadasha, inhale, upward facing. Dwadasha, exhale, downward facing. Come to your knees, Shirshasana, headstand. Sapta, prepare, interlock your fingers, top of the head on the ground, elbows down. Ashto, inhale, lift up to Shirshasana, headstand. Find your alignment through the center line by drawing the thighs in towards each other. Keep the tailbone ever so slightly tucked under. Rib cage drawn in towards the center. Belly sucks deeply in. Press your elbows. Guruji always said headstand means strong shoulders. So stabilize the shoulders as much as you can. Activate the deltoids. Keep as much space as possible between the shoulders and the ears. Belly sucks in towards the center line. Keep lifting the hips. After you find the balance and headstand, it becomes almost a meditative pose where you can just surrender into 
headstand, Shirshasana. With as minimal activation as necessary, appropriate activation. Don't overactivate your headstand. Remember to find the equanimous mind, a place of equal balance, a place where you tune in to the center. Belly sucks in. Avoid arching the spine or tucking too much under. Regulate the breath. Deepen the breath. And slowly exhale, pivoting in through the hips, Nava, gently down. Halfway balance, here we stay for about 10 breaths, suck in the belly, shift the hips back for the half headstand, this counterbalance, bringing blood and circulation equally through the body, belly sucks deeply in, shoulders are nice and stable, calming the mind. Then slowly inhale, come on back up to headstand. We'll go for Urdhva Shirshasana. We lift the head off of the ground, tucking the chin under, lifting all the way up, transferring the weight forward into the elbows. Gaze shifts all the way up to the toes. Then exhale, place the head down. Find your... Calming the mind. Then hands forward, let's step it back to plank. A Kadisha, exhale, Chaturanga. Dwa Disha, inhale, upward facing. Trayog Disha, exhale, downward facing. Sapta, inhale, jump all the way forward and through. Straight legs, sit down. Take your Padmasana position. Ashtu, exhale, Bhada Padmasana. Lotus position. Bound lotus position, so bind your Padmasana. Hands behind your back, hold your feet. Yoga mudra, nava, exhale, go down. Shoulders stay in internal rotation, hands towards the feet, chin down. Gaze at the nose tip. Ten deep breaths. Suck the belly as deeply in as possible, finding emptiness behind the pubic bone, calming the mind. Tune into the inner body. Keep a subtle sensation underneath the skin, deep in the center of the body. Regulate the pace of your breath. Calm, even breath. Inhale, come all the way up. Dasha, exhale, take your hands down. Padmasana position. Tips of the index fingers and the thumbs pressed into each other. Chin down, gaze at the nose tip. Breathe as deeply as possible. Let the resonance, the power, and the sound of the breath fill you. Keep the chest slightly elevated, belly sucks in. Pelvic floor super active, almost like you're charging yourself up from the inside. Padmasana position, the lotus pose. Keeping a sense of stillness deep into the inner body. Every inhalation makes space. Every exhalation lets you dive down deeper within. Deeply with the mind, enter the inner body. Find a sense of humility, a sense of ease, a sense of grace. Let the culmination of the practice prepare you for that one final pose, which is coming soon. Gazing at the nose tip. Finding a sense of deep inner awareness, lengthening each breath. Make sure inhalation and exhalation are even and equal to each other. Feel the center line, feel the spine. Keeping the equanimous mind. Prepare now for Utlutihi, sprung up position. Shoulders forward, hips back and up. A Kadisha, inhale, take it up. Gaze at your nose tip, here we go. You can do it. Push up from the shoulders, pick it back up from your core. Use your lower abs. Find that strength from behind your pubic bone. Exactly when you feel like you cannot do any more, push through there. Exactly at the point where you want to quit. 
Keep it up just a little bit more. You can do it. If you go down, pick it right back up. Shoulders forward, hips back and up. Keep pressing up from the shoulders. Belly sucks in. Hook the toes under. Dwa disha exhale chaturanga. Prayog disha inhale. Chiktur disha exhale. Pancha disha inhale. Jump forward. Keeping the hips forward. Show disha exhale. Fold forward. Straight legs. Go down. Samasthitihi. Come on back up. Hands in prayer. Prepare for the closing prayer. Swasti Prajadhyaha Paripalayantam Yaye Namargena Mahim Mahishaha Go Brahma Nebhyaha Shiva Mastunityam Logaha Samastaha Sukhino Bhavantu Om Shanti 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 Ekam Inhale Raise your hands Dwe Exhale Fold forward Trini, inhale, Chatwari, exhale, jump back, go down. Pancha, inhale, Shat, exhale. Last time, Sapta, inhale, jump all the way through, keeping the shoulders stacked, engaged, bringing your legs out in front, and exhale, lie all the way down. Close your eyes, relax. Tune in to the inner body. Release your pelvic floor. Release all your effort. Release control in your breath. Soften the mind. Feel the body heavy. The bones releasing into the ground. The muscles melting off of the bones. Let everything rest into the floor. Keep the mind free and allow yourself to experience stillness, silence, and a deep sense of peace. If you have many thoughts that roll through the mind, simply bring your attention to your breath. But you may find yourself in a thoughtless, wordless unity. Slowly wiggle the fingers and toes, bend your knees, bend your elbows, rest for a moment. Hug the knees into your chest, say thank you, thank you to your body, roll over onto your right side, and then come on back up to a comfortable seated position. Pause for a moment in gratitude, taking the time just to tune in, 
Thank you for watching. Bye. Have a good day.